chapter 19. In the morning, me and Win Dixie went down to sweep the pet store, and I took a litmus lozenge for Otis. Is it Halloween? Otis asked when I handed it to him. No, I said. Why? Well, you're giving me candy. It's just a gift, I told him, for today. Oh, said Otis. He unwrapped the litmus lozenge and put it in his mouth. And after a minute, tears started rolling down his face. Thank you, he said. Do you like it? I asked him. He nodded his head. It tastes good, but it also tastes a little bit like being in jail. Gertrude, Gertrude squawked. She picked up the litmus lozenge wrapper and in her beak, she put it there. But she dropped it and looked around. Gertrude, she screamed again. You can't have any, I told her. It's not for birds. Then real quick, before I lost my nerve, I said, Otis, what were you in jail for? Are you a murderer? No, ma'am, he said. Are you a burglar? No, ma'am, Otis said again. He sucked in his lozenge and stared down at his pointy-toed boots. You don't have to tell me, I said. I was just wondering. I ain't a dangerous man, Otis said. If that's what you're thinking. I'm lonely, but I ain't dangerous. Okay, I said. And I went into the back room to get my broom. When I came back out, Otis was standing where I left him, still staring down at his feet. It was on account of the music, he said. What was? I asked. Why well, I went to jail. It was on account of the music. What happened? I wouldn't stop playing my guitar. Used to be, I played it in the street and sometimes people would give me money. I didn't do it for the money. I did it because the music is better if someone is listening to it. Anyway, the police came and they told me to stop it. They said how I was breaking the law and the whole time they were talking to me, I went right on playing my music. And that made them mad apparently. They tried to put handcuffs on me, he sighed. I didn't like it. I wouldn't have been able to play my guitar with them things on. So what happened? I asked him. I hit them, he whispered. You hit the police? Uh-huh, one of them. I knocked him out. Then I went to jail, and they locked me up and wouldn't let me have my guitar. When they finally let me out, they made me promise I would never play my guitar on the street again. He looked up at me real quick then back down at his boots. And I don't play. I only play it in here for the animals. Gertrude, the human Gertrude, she owns the shop. And she gave me this job when she read about me in the paper. And she said it was all right for me to play the music for the animals. You play your music for me and Win Dixie and Sweetie Pie? I said, yeah, he agreed. But you ain't on the street. Well, thank you for telling me about it, Otis. He said, it's all right, he said. I don't mind. Sweetie Pie came in and I gave her a litmus lozenge and she spit it right out. She said that it tastes bad. She said that it tasted like not having a dog. I swept the floor real slow that day. I wanted to keep Otis company. I didn't want him to be lonely. Sometimes it seemed like everybody in the world was lonely. I thought about my mama. Thinking about her was the same as that hole you keep on feeling with your tongue after you lose a tooth. Time after time, my mind kept going on that empty spot. That spot where I felt like she should be, where a tooth should be. See you guys tomorrow.